What the f Dude. That's awesome. What the hell? That's badass. That's awesome. What is up, YouTube? Uh, thanks for tuning in to another episode of our kind of weekly videos here. Um, just wrapped up the 4th of July. We had a good long weekend. Hope all you guys did as well. Um, you guys have been keeping us slammed, so we appreciate that. Uh, our following is growing on the channel, so thanks again for all your shares and uh, tuning in each week, all that good stuff. Um, as you can see behind me here, uh, it's, it's Bronco time. Summer's here, full force. Uh, we've got, I think, four Broncos scheduled this week. So, uh, we're made bumping by, <laughs> beating down the block. Heck yeah. Uh, we're just gonna highlight some more stuff that you can do to your Bronco to kind of make it your own. Uh, this is a brand new 2022. Uh, it's a wild track, so it's got the Sasquatch suspension. Um, as you can see, one, one thing I immediately noticed, it's got the, the, plastic front bumper rather than the the steel bumper like on our wild track so uh, you know there's a lot of options a lot of things you can do to these things but uh, we're gonna be tricking this one out over the week uh, like I said we got a couple more coming this one is gonna be getting a three inch zone lift a front bumper with some lights some fog lights slot bar all that stuff uh, retaining the factory wheels good looking wheel gonna put some 37s on it so yeah again just uh, Something you guys stay tuned, see how this thing wraps up, turns out. Uh, just give you guys some more options and you know different ways to deck these things out. There's another Bronco setting right there. I think it's just getting a, a quick two inch lift. But uh, yeah, stay tuned, check it out. We'll, uh, we'll be back with some updates. I don't think I can handle it without me here. LED light bar. We're doing zone off-road kit. It's getting new control arms. Getting the uh, putts in the front and the rear. And then these will go inside the strut inside the strut and then on top of the strut. So it'll be pretty much that much of a lift. Yep, got to press the, got to press the old ones out. Really? Yep, OE ball joint boot, ball joints. Press them out and press them in the new ones. Well, last kit, it was a zone kit, but it was a, is it a three or a three and a half? Three and a half inch. It was a three and a half inch. And it had diff drop, control arms with ball joints in them. It's a little different. It is, but it ain't. Oh yeah, hell yeah it does. I don't know anything about that's that. That's a half inch. Since it's uh, Sasquatch, I think that's what it is. They come factory, I think, two inches higher than the normal uh, Broncos do. So I'd say this one will put it up maybe to four, four or five inches. Maybe. Hopefully, we'll see. So it comes, I guess, with a diff drop and all that in there. Because uh, this one. It's got different axles and has a factory lift. Oh, okay. So you don't have to drop the disc and all cool. that. Cool. It does have you know, spacers. Yeah. Uh, it's got preload spacers, so you got to break the strut apart, uh -huh. swap the ball joint, all, all that standard stuff. Definitely a lot beefier.
we've got to take the bottom the bottom strut bucket off put a little spacer right under here and then a new bump stop spacer What the f Dude. That's awesome. What the hell? That's badass. If you can put a 6.4 Hemi and a PT Cruiser, you can fit a whole lot else and a I lot of other no stuff. And on top of that, it's got a blower on top of it. Day two on the Bronco, had a bunch of stuff that wasn't here, waiting on parts. Got it, got the lift thrown together this morning. We're working on the bumper right now, getting all the lights in it. That way we can get all the wires ran and slap the bumper on. Still gotta do the spare tire delete kit re relocation and the tires. I think that's it. There, right. So on this Bronco, it being the Sasquatch edition, it's got the reservoir struts. So when we put the puff on the top, it 180s the three studs on top. Meaning when we bust the strut apart, we have to spin the top 180 degrees so our studs will line up. And that way the reservoir doesn't get flipped around and rub on the CV axle. This is a DV8. This is the full length bumper for the Bronco. We put two three inch cubes, rigid cubes in each side. We're getting ready to test these lights, uh, and then put them to the auxiliary switches up on top of the, <laughs> on the, I don't even know what I was trying to say. Yeah, the auxiliary switches in the cabin, something like that. We had it right. Oh, we got it upside down. Getting ready to cut on this grill, uh, upper fin structure on this Bronco to make sure the adaptive cruise control relocation bracket fits. <laughs> Have to unwrap all these wires and I'm gonna splice a little bit more wire in to make the harness longer so it can reach our new location for the adaptive cruise control. Yeah. Parking sensors aren't wanting to fit in the bumper. We'll make it work though. Yeah, whatever you do, just don't drop it on my face. Okay, here, Chris, pull your side out a little bit. I'm trying to line you up the best You know it means business when my hat's to turn forward. All right, guys, so behind me, you can see we, uh, we really took this Wild Track Bronco to the next level. Uh, I had to look this color up. It's a beautiful color. These things, I swear, just keep, everyone I see, I'm like, oh, that's my new favorite color. Chili pepper red, hot chili pepper red, something like that. Awesome color. Uh, this thing turned out amazing. Guys did a great job. Uh, up front, we'll just do a quick kind of recap, walk around of this thing. Up front. We added the uh, DV8 Slimline. It's kind of like an OE style bumper. Uh, we did rigid fog lights. 
light bar here tucked behind. Those are wired to the factory upfitter switches, factory aux switches, real clean install. Uh, you know, keeps it nice and factory looking. On the tires, uh, again, this thing being a wild track, had the good looking factory wheels. Uh, that's a, a faux bead lock, it's not a real bead lock, but still gives you the, the look of it and whatnot. Stayed with those, put an inch and a half wheel spacer behind them, hub centric of course. 37 1350 Nitto Ridge Grappler tires. Uh, did a fifth one, we'll get back there to it. On the suspension, uh, we went with the Zone 3 inch kit uh, that's specifically for these wild tracks. Uh, it comes with upper control arms, all the necessary spacers, drop brackets, everything like that to correct the geometry. This is the same kit we've got on our Bronco. Uh, we've done, done several of these. Got a blue Bronco upstairs, getting this same kit right now. I think we've had like, what, three, four Broncos in this week. So quickly becoming the Bronco headquarters. Already had some Go Rhino steps. Uh, again, we've done these on a few. Those are nice, uh, real slim factory-like look. And wrapped it up with a spare tire relocation bracket just to space it out, give it some clearance. Still waiting on the uh, reinforcement bracket, but that's minor, can be tossed on later. But yeah, check this thing out, see what you think about it. So that pretty well uh, wraps up this week's episode. Uh, you know, in closing, like I said, took that Bronco kind of to the next level. Uh, did the before and after shots. Hope you guys, you know, like seeing that and just saw how, you know, little subtle subtle changes can make a, a huge improvement. I mean, that thing, it still looks super clean, super, you know, it looks almost factory like, but with like an attitude adjustment. So it turned out super nice. You can see our Bronco. Uh, behind you here, a little bit different look with the 2212s, 35, 15, 50, same lift, same wild track spec. Um, I think it's about time to change ours up. So we're, we're kind of racking our brains trying to figure out what we want to do. Obviously, there's more and more products hitting the market for these things, but uh, we want to hear from you guys. Uh, let us know what you'd like to see us do on this thing. You know, wheels, tires, lift it. Uh, whatever it may be, drop us a comment and let us know. Uh, I want to say thanks again to everybody. Thanks to uh, Mr. Brad bringing us his Bronco. Good, loyal customer. We've done a lot of vehicles for him. But uh, yeah, appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you next week. Peace.